Hello again, this is AJ with Conscious Evolution. Still driving. <laughs> I wanna, wanted to talk about briefly what's going on in the desert. Witness in the desert, global witness. Probably catch a lot of grief on this, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. That's all right, you're not gonna affect me or my mood by anything you say. I am good with it. Anyways, so, man, you know, it seems, it seems when you get close to a truth, to something that you, uh, to what's really going on here, you know, you start you know, getting people together, like, love is an energy that, that, you know, synchronizes that meshes that links up people when people get together and love there's power there fear is a, a divided energy you know fear divides keeps people apart you know and that's why this world is designed around fear they shove fear down your throat constantly fear 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 don't do this this will happen you know this listening to other people again I said this before stop listening to other people they're just afraid <laughs> you know so many people don't act on their joys or passions or really don't even know what they are because they're afraid they're paralyzed with fear for what life's too short and magical for that crap it's not worth it so anyways, uh, Witness in the Desert, I was supposed to uh, basically be getting there today. I was planning on leaving yesterday morning, which would have been Thursday, and arriving today, which is December 1st, I think, yeah, December 1st, and um, wow, man, you know, it's, uh, it's a blessing that whatever happened happened that I my brother wasn't able to go and it was a last minute thing and it was funny because when that happened like oh let's back up so I was like stoked to go to this event man I've been preparing for the last two months I was preparing for like the last two months to to go and you know I got all the camping stuff I needed I got tents um you know we had the vehicle set up. I got water, food, supplies, everything. I was ready to camp. And, uh, you know, my brother couldn't make it. And uh, so that's, it is what it is. And as soon as I heard, as soon as I learned that we weren't able, we weren't, he wasn't able to go, I was okay with it. It was just like, a second of like oh man that sucks and then I was like cool man well I'm already making plans this is what I'm going to do I'm still going to take the time off of work and I'm going to use this time to prepare everything I've wanted to prepare I just don't have the time to because I just work all the time so I'm using that time now to uh, to get these things together to where I can you know, start getting other sources of income together to where I don't need to work a job I'll just work for myself be my own boss and make YouTube videos because I uh, really I'm starting to like this uh, talking about this thing with other people because there's not too many people in my life <laughs> there's really nobody that fully agrees with it they might believe parts of it uh, at least they're open to thinking about it that's a start you know we'll get there we'll get there everyone's you know everyone's truth is their truth that's true for them and it's not and or it's not like i'm right and you're wrong i'm right and you're right because that's your truth that's what's true for you um look i just looked at the camera it was a 444 that's amazing the synchronicities are just everywhere in my life it's really quite astounding anyways what was I saying 
yeah so it was a blessing in disguise that i wasn't able to go you know there's a silver lining for everything and this everything is how you how you frame it how you look at it if you stay in a positive mindset about everything no matter what's happening there's no good or bad there's just experiences it's what you make of it if something happens and you don't think that that's a good thing well why it's an experience that you're you're just having an experience if you stay in a negative mindset then you know negative energy is dividing it's division segregation keeps us apart if you stay in that negative frame then you're not going to experience your highest joy as much as you can stay in your highest joy no matter what happens everything happens for a reason and that's exactly what i thought and what i knew when i wasn't able to go to the desert and now all this craziness has happened in the desert so you get so so close to the truth and you're getting everybody together in love peace and happiness and then boom somebody ruins it no you can't do that you can't have a good time in love and happiness no 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 we're gonna mess that all up for you <laughs> but the people out there are staying positive and they are uh, they're finding somewhere else to gather and and uh, you know have fellowship learn these truths with uh, Derek Bros from the Global Witness I love you brother I love Jeff I love Rex Bear He's my dude, man. He's funny. He's a funny guy. Um, John, best damn podcast. Started watching him. He did like a three-hour video this morning on it. Uh, where I actually, first time I've heard from Derek uh, about the whole situation. And it's really messed up, man. It's, it's, yeah. we weren't going to do anything bad. We were there to check out some ancient monuments and and just you know have fellowship man you know like I said I'm not into the whole religion thing but a group of a large group of people of like mind that live in love and happiness is powerful and they are afraid of that power so they sent forces to dismantle that power to destroy that power and it didn't work they just got them out of that area you know they're still gonna gather hopefully they still get together and have some good fellowship and um you know we'll just have to reconvene at a different time yeah luckily i didn't because that's that's a 32 hour trip for me i would have i would have not been happy <laughs> but again that's you know just in your perception how do you look at it i'm sure i'd have been fine faced with adversity you know, go out there really just to turn back around i would just have to find uh where everyone was going right when i went to a different part in arizona and hung out for a few days and drove two days back <laughs> it's pretty crazy but now i'm uh all the other things i have going i'm really excited getting the ball rolling on a lot of things um learning more about these uh, energies these frequencies that I can access and so can you um, look into dr. Eric Pearl check out everyday masters YouTube video or uh, YouTube channel he's awesome man I wish I could be that he lives this all the time and I'm just starting to and I wish I could be in it all the time I'm getting there I'm getting there every day's progress man. I'm shedding old beliefs uh, you know, again, find the truth on your own, man. Don't, don't listen to what other people say. You know, you're you're a powerful individual. You're a power, powerful being, a light being. We're all beings of light. We're all from a light family, family of light. So yeah, I'm working on these uh, these frequencies. I want to be a uh, a practitioner uh, they call them healers but I don't really like that they're just uh, these frequencies are are here to help remind you of who you are that we're all multi-dimensional beings that's what we're meant to be but we're stuck in this one dimension well that's all changing now we're uh, 
man, we're in for a ride, brothers and sisters. It's going to be a good time. It's a great time to be alive. I'm so excited and I'm so happy I learned all these truths. And the crazy thing is, I just realized the other day that I just turned 33 years old. Well, not just, but my 33rd year on this plane is when I discovered all of these truths. I mean, there's so much symbolism in that alone. And when I woke up to what's really going on, <laughs> it's 33 years old. And uh, I'm getting ready to have my reconnection healing to uh, you know, reconnect me with you know, whatever you want to call it. Frequencies, source, your higher dimensional self. And I'm so excited about that. Um, I wish I could videotape it. I might try to set something up so you guys can see it. And... Uh, That'd be really cool. And again, we're at the 10 minute mark. I love you guys. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think. And um, I'm gonna keep making videos, man. I love all of you. Peace!